Number 25, the hydroxide ion concentration in household ammonia is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity at 25 degrees Celsius. And then what is the concentration of the hydronium ions in the solution? All right. So looks like they gave us a value, 3.2 times 10 to the negative third molarity, and they told us that was the hydroxide ion concentration. Remember, hydroxide ion is always OH minus. Concentration is always written in brackets. Concentration is just a fancy way for saying molarity. So the concentration of OH minus is 3.2 times 10 to the negative third molarity. Now the question is asking, what's the concentration of hydronium? Now remember guys, hydronium is H plus, right? You could also say that it's H3O plus, but me personally, I like to use H plus, so we'll call it that. So we're trying to find out what this H plus is. Now I say to myself, okay, I have a hydroxide ion concentration. I'm trying to look for hydronium. Do I know a formula that links OH minus with H plus? And aha, there is one, so we should know it. And it is this formula right here. Let's just make it big, maybe a little bit too big. But it is the KW formula. KW equals the concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus. They did tell us that the OH minus was 3.2 times 10, 3.2 times 10 to the negative third molarity. We're searching for the H plus. So I'll label that as X. But the thing is, is that they didn't give us a KW value. KW stands for the ionization of W is water. So that's where the W comes from. W is water. But they didn't give me the number, but it's a constant number. And it's pretty easy to memorize if we're at room temperature. And room temp is 25 degrees Celsius. So since they, they told us that it was room temperature, this is the only KW that you have to memorize if your teacher or professor wants you to memorize them at all. And that is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. There is no units for KW, just like we saw in last chapter. Any capital K uh, value has no units. It's just like a, a signifying number. So now, all we're going to do is just plug it in. 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th equals... H plus times OH minus. We'll say this is X. And then the OH minus, the basic component, is 3.2 times 10 to the negative third. We're going to solve for X. So pretty simple. We're just going to divide on both sides by the hydroxide. So I'm going to divide by 3.2. Whoa, what's going on there? 3.2 times 10 to the negative third on both sides. These cancel out, get rid of that, and we're left with X, which is the concentration of the H+. Plus. So I'll just put that right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Calcutam. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3. Two sig figs, if we, if we care about them at all at this point. Uh, if I was your teacher or professor, I would say, get out of town. But some teachers or professors still care at this point. So we'll say it's 3.1 times 10 to the negative 12. And that's in molarity. And there you go. That's the hydronium concentration. So it's this one was just one formula. Did not matter that it was ammonia. So... We don't care. We don't have to write a balanced equation. If they gave us the hydroxide, we could just use our formulas. All right? Um, so, yeah. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and also my brother's heart as well. Uh, it's crazy how much this channel has grown throughout this whole journey. And it's all because of you guys. So, thank you. Really. We appreciate it. See you all later. Bye-bye.